What is good YouTube? Back here with another breakdown and today we are breaking down Ivorian Doll rumours. Let's get into this one. So the video for Ivorian Doll rumours. This one here is definitely a memorable one for me and that's for many reasons and it includes everything from the planning to the shooting to getting it out there and obviously getting the love back that we got for it. Planning, we spent quite a bit of time going back and forth because this was my first time working with Ivorian Doll and she of course wanted it to be perfect. She's a perfectionist, she, she knows what she wants and being that it was the first time working together, we were just kind of getting used to how we both work. But when you're first working with an artist, you obviously kind of need to break that ice and just kind of understand each other's styles and just get to know each other, I guess. So this was that project for us. This was the first one that we kind of got together. And then in the planning stages, she was just kind of stressing to me that this needs to be perfect. But she she had full trust in me from the beginning. And that's one thing about Ivorian Doll when working with her, like, even though she knows what she wants, she knows who to trust her vision with. And once she trusts you, she'll kind of relax and let you do your thing. So it wasn't any stress to a point where she knew what she wanted and she was like overpowering in the vision that I came up with. It was just kind of, Kevin, you need to do this or can you do this? Not even you need to do this. Can you do this? Can you do that? And I was just kind of reassuring her, yeah, we can do this, we can do that. And, and then, yeah, it came together very naturally from there. So after the initial conversations of what we wanted to do and how we was going to do it, we, of course, came up with the treatment. And for this idea, the concept came from Ivorian Doll and her team. And it was just kind of capture a very Mean Girls inspired music video. So if any of you have seen Mean Girls, you'll see what we tried to do in this video and it was very much just kind of taking reference from that and putting Ivorian Doll and her friends that are in the video as kind of the key girls of the school and obviously when the video starts you see like the different characters like the girls doing their makeup the girls on their phone the girls just chilling in the back of the class like you got the different sections so when planning it that was all put in the treatment we just wanted to kind of show with the numbers we had as many kind of groups of girls as possible and obviously Ivorian Doll and her girls being centre stage. My next step was to get a producer. We had a producer on board for this and we got crew together. The DOP on this again was Dan. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I worked with Dan quite a bit. And like I said in my last video, Dan really knows how to like girls and especially black females. And then alongside Dan, we had obviously a focus puller, uh, second ACs, gaffers, sparks. It wasn't a large crew. I don't think we had any runners on this day. So a very small crew, less than 10 of us. So with the crew locked in now and everybody knowing what we needed to do, we of course needed kit. And this hair was shot on my Red Epic MX. And this is a 5K camera. I was very familiar with this camera. I was confident with it. And being that I was operating a lot of the shots, I of course wanted a camera that I understood. And yeah, this was it for me. This is the camera we used. And I think we used Samyang Cine lenses. I can't quite remember, but it wasn't a, a big kit. It was very straightforward. We obviously had a focus puller to pull focus and we had a Ronin 2 to stabilize the footage. With a RED and a Ronin 2, if any of you are familiar with what these are, you know how heavy they are. So it was crazy trying to operate this thing. I think I'll do like one or two takes and have to put it down. I don't think I had an easy rig. And for those of you that don't know what an easy rig is, it basically is that big suit thing that us cameramen wear or us um, camera operators wear when you're operating a camera and it kind of holds the weight for you. So I didn't have that and it was just this big massive rig with the red and yeah, just very tiring. So of course with everything sorted now, crew, kit, the idea, treatment, everything locked in, we came to shoot day and prior to shoot day, we obviously done a recce and I kind of knew where I wanted to do what and it was just for me and Dan to go in on the day and just kind of scope out where we was going to do what because on this one we didn't have a first AD 
and a first lady's job was would be to kind of schedule where we're going to do what first and how we're going to do it just for time's sake to do it in the best possible time but on the day it was between me dan and the producer who was ashley that day um, to kind of go through and just plan the shot so we started in the classroom got that key shot that is in the music video and how the video starts with all the girls in the classroom just throwing papers around girls on their phone and it's just a chaotic time um, that was the first shot of the day that we got and we lit it very kind of daylight vibes we just kind of wanted to bring up the sunlight that was outside within our interior space and that's what you see in that shot so obviously once we locked in our master shot which was that classroom scene that was kind of my key shot in my treatment we then went on to capture as many scenes as possible throughout the school and as I usually do, I'm going to watch it through and kind of just break down exactly what I did. So just to start, this scene here, where the paper plane hits him, I didn't actually plan to hit him with the paper plane. And I can't remember if it was me throwing the plane or somebody else, but we had done a few attempts. I think we'd done like two or three attempts and I just wanted the plane to fly past the camera and we just kept missing the frame like the camera wasn't capturing it because it would either go over it or under it and then i think by like the fourth or fifth attempt whoever threw it threw it and um hit him right in the head and luckily it obviously didn't hurt and he managed to stay in character and get into his role properly so that was just a fluke like i didn't plan to hit him but it hitting him makes it more dramatic and kind of was a signal for him to i guess get up so yeah, that wasn't planned, but it worked really good on the day. When starting off my video, like I said in the Lupita video, I like to get something that grabs your attention. And although it starts on the floor and it comes up, the way that I edited it, it was obviously a speed ramp and it kind of brings you straight into the action. That was the kind of method and purpose behind that. I'd obviously um, did that on the day purposely to start the video to just come up with the Ronin and then capture her walking in as I'm coming up. And I feel like that motion of me coming up and her coming in is like a good starting point, nine times out of 10. Like when you've got motion coming in and, and you're coming in from another shot, like when they when you get it right and you get the timing right, it, it just matches up very well. I, I, I the pagan One of my favorite scenes. And reason being, I just love the mood of it and how Dan, the DOP, managed to bring it to life. So the idea was obviously to capture like a PE lesson, but we knew we wanted to be moody, kind of like the, the basketball kind of adverts that you'll see from Nike or any of these big brands. Like that's kind of how we wanted to capture this. And we had to wait until the sun went down to do that and have full control of the lighting to be able to have her lit well and have the background not to overlay it and create a mood. They said I'm leaking from the STDs that I got. If you know the song and you know of IVD prior to this even dropping, you will know this is the line that kind of went viral and made this song blow up. So on the day, I just made sure I got as many takes of this as clearly as possible. So when it comes to the editing, I can chop it up and play with it as much as possible. Obviously IVD did a thing I didn't really have to give her much direction like she was always vibing and I feel like that's what makes this video pop as well like her and the girls are always dancing in scenes and just looks like they're having a good time and I feel like whenever you capture a video where it looks like the people in it are having a good time it's very infectious on the viewer and it makes you almost want to be there and be a part of the, the scene so yeah for this particular line Obviously they, they did their little dance, they did their little vibes and this is what kind of brought that line out. On the original edit, we actually got another scene that didn't make this edit and I'll probably show clips of it. It's pretty much Ivorian doll by herself in the cloakroom. And the reason we didn't include this is just because we don't feel like it had the same energy as the rest of the video because it was her by herself and she was sat as well. It didn't give off the same vibe that the rest of the scenes did. When you've got a high energy scene, 
or high energy video and you're capturing high energy scenes in general and you sit somebody down by themselves it's always going to take away from everything that you've done unless it's done for a reason like they sat there for a reason and it's part of the treatment and it's part of the idea like maybe you've got a narrative or something i don't know but i feel like whenever i've tried to sit somebody down by themselves having just had some very lit scenes it's always gonna slow the pace down and i felt that's what happened with this scene as to why it didn't get included Can a pagan up? all these energy shots of them just vibing bouncing dancing this is what was needed for this video like i couldn't have made this as good as it was without ivd her energy her girls we of course had extras in there to fill up the numbers as well but I could only do so much but yeah they needed to give us the energy and they definitely delivered. With the editing now I of course needed to match their energy and the song's energy as much as possible and I kind of just did as many fast chops, bounces, reverses but like I said a lot of the energy came from the girls and, and their vibe. So going back to the theme of this video obviously I mentioned it was kind of Mean Girls inspired but just overall in terms of the girls getting dressed up and taking on a different persona and a different character. I feel like when you're working with girls, it's very easy to do this because a lot of the time they're open to it and they're not scared to kind of break their character and just have fun. Whereas when you're working with guys that have a certain persona and a certain kind of image to the public, it's hard to kind of get them to break that, to play a role in a music video. So. I feel like directing girls is a lot of the time easier and don't get me wrong I obviously direct a lot of guys that are very much we can do things like this that I could put this treatment to a few guys that I've worked with and they'll probably do it but I just feel like a lot of the time it's easier to do it with girls and I feel like guys in the industry kind of need to be a bit more open to doing creative stuff and just coming out of the image that they portray That's how I shoot my this video was definitely a memorable one for me. First time working with Ivorian Doll and like she's so easy to direct. I can get my ideas across very easily. She takes it and just runs with, runs with it every single time. Big shout out to the team as always for bringing this together. Like I said, it wasn't a huge team, but I feel like when you've got a smaller team, you can really home in on ideas like this because there's not too many people to pass things through so I feel like that benefited us on this particular project. There are other projects where you need larger teams to dress stuff and do this and control times and do all a, bun a bunch of stuff. As always guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you every single time. If there are any videos you would like me to break down earlier, just drop a comment below and I will get onto them as soon as possible. Please be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Kevin Hudson Film, and I will see you in the next one.